new that did come out, which is good, is Doctor Who, What's the Future? I listen to this. So, What's the Future is is the good, really good, good uh, series going on at Big Finish. It's like, it used to be with Big Finish, every month you could be guaranteed a good, interesting Doctor Who release, right? When it, uh, when it was the main range, not so much anymore. So, one of my complaints with Big Finish is because they've hired completely talentless um, writers often, because they, uh, um, they uh, because they they they're women or they're black, mainly because they're women, right? That's it, Ma- mainly because they're women. That that that's the the over overwrite writing reason, and we've had absolutely terrible releases from it. So now. When I see uh, it's a female author, I, I shy away. I go, oh, oh no! So I saw this on race says Lisa M- uh, McMullen, and I was like, oh god, it's gonna be crap. It's gonna be one of these new diversity hires. And I'm not being fair to her, but that I blame Big Finish for that for putting out shit beyond shit beyond shit. Right? Let's see what she put out. See, there's nothing here that's made me go ooh. Like Winkle's like eh. Charlotte Pot Party. Yeah, no- nothing here has made me go yeah, this is awesome. Right? They, they all look like filler, right? They, that's what it, yeah. So, but this is actually a genuinely very good, good, uh, good release, a very good story. So, uh, the basic, the basic plot of uh, Once and Future, it's a, it's a, fi- it's a Five Doctors thing, right? And it is the most uh, anniversary, anniversary thing I've ever heard. Much more so than Light the End, which I thought was excellent, because this is the first time where they've used the format, their, their monthly release format to have something very expansive, right? It's not like the Five Doctors, which is 90 minutes, or like the end, which again, excellent. And like, like the end, absolutely excellent. The 50th anniversary story. This is, uh, and the only thing I didn't like about like the end was the title. Uh, uh, so this is basically, uh, the, the War Doctor is hit with some kind of weapon and he's regenerating through his different faces, right? And so, and so each episode, you have a different Doctor. You uh, have yeah, a few. Normally starts off at one, and then he re, uh, regenerates into another, and uh, regenerates in you know in, into another. This week it, it's, it's Colin Baker, and I assume in the TARDIS control room now he's just got a bunch. He's got a uh, a clothes uh, line hanging, not like a clothes line, like a, a one of those things they have in apartment stores where you have hang up lots of things. Then you've got everybody's different outfit on, so he can have, so he can quickly change. Uh, uh, and so, yeah, each week, basically, you have, like, oh, just a month, you have a bunch of uh, Doctor Who favourite elements thrown together, and uh, you have to see how well they come out. This is the second best one in, in, in uh, you know, of, of uh, Once in the Future. Let me sit, open up. <laughs> we'll go through them. Uh, so, they open up with Tom Baker... Uh, was it Sadie Miller playing uh, Sarah Jane and the meddling monk and the uh, new unit group and, and, and when Tom Baker and it was not great. It was very, it was a quick kind of throwaway one. It wasn't bad. It it, it was reasonably enjoyable. It wasn't bad. Uh, worse was the second one with um, Peter Davison, also had Colin Baker in as the curator, who the cur- curator now we find out can flits between faces. Much like uh, uh, the doctor has been, hit, now he's struck with this weapon, and, and uh, the Jenny, the doctor's daughter, and they're basically looking for art. It's an art heist thing, and this one's way too cutesy for its own good. But what this does well is it's an amalgam of stuff you love in Doctor Who, right? The third one was freaking awesome, right? Oh my god, a genius war! That one really, really worked. It was a this was the first one where it was a good story in of its own right. In that the um, seventh doctor, uh, the doctor degenerates into his seventh uh, persona, um, puts his hat on or instantly, obviously, uh, and uh, he's taken out of time by shadowy Gallifreyan military. This is the middle of the time war because Davros says he wants to defect uh, from the Daleks and and uh, destroy them. So Sir McCoy is perfect in this. He is perfect being an espionage story in the time war just works so well bounces off uh uh terry malloy uh ken bones and uh, what's the name uh, beth chalmers and vecklin which are all characters they built up it's sort of set on the uh the trial of time on spaceship yeah which is yeah that gives you an idea it's just it's a frothy mix so that one so this one isn't as good but this one is better than the other two right this is the second best release 
Um, starts off as a third doctor before uh, regenerating into his sixth form. Uh, and this is a uh, river song in it, but not, not mentioned by name. Right. So uh, Jackie Tyler, uh, was it? Uh, Kamil Kadori is always a delight. I, I all, and she's saying that basically always sells it to me, not with doomsday. Right. Uh, uh, but she is absolutely delight. She is, a wonderful character that you never saw before in Doctor Who and is so great in Doctor Who. Jackie Tyler, I think, is one of the greatest things that Rusty Davis did for Doctor Who, right? It, it's, uh, uh, I just love that character. So she ends up applying for a job as a cleaner for, for Lady Christina, uh, who, again, I think is a great companion. <laughs> the, 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 idea, the idea for the companion, which they did in the as a as a season of Lost Stories, but they weren't very good. Best Charmers again were, uh, were a played and she was miscast, I think. <laughs> was that it was a um, a socialite uh, son, uh, some a uh, socialite daughter of somebody like very very uh, uh, wealthy who was actually a safe cracker as well. And this, the backstory was the the wealthy person was really a a criminal. Uh, you know, a crime lord, and uh, and her daughter and his daughter wanted also follow in the footsteps. The way they were going to introduce her was that you would have much like uh, um, the way they introduced L Lady Christina was when she was going to like cat burgle a, a stately home and like break into a safe and inside would be Smith McCoy. So what kept you so long, <laughs> right? So that uh, 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 that all sounded delightful, but again, so you have Lady Christina and and Jackie Tyler bouncing off each other together fantastically right it's again why do we love the five doctors because you got k9 and you got uh, uh jamie and you got a uh, rasta warrior robot and the cybermen and the master you have all the stuff you love in doctor who same thing here right and this is the thing that put, puts them together nicely so i'll say the jackie they were given a list of ingredients so i'll say the jackie tyler lady christina stuff is the most tacked on but essentially, uh, Colin Baker's doctor needs a couple of companions to help getting through the missions of, you know, of the story. The main uh, thrust of it is that you've got Har uh, Harry Sullivan, an, an older Harry Sullivan, and he's working for a doctor. And here's the thing. The problem with this thing is you have so many different doctors in it, uh, not always played by the original actors. So you, it, so you heard, I heard this doctor voice like, who's that? Who's that? And it's, it's it's somebody impersonating Doctor. I'm not going to spoil who it is. They call it the Renegade in the in the uh, um, uh, in in the cast list. It's uh, a, it's a villain that we know from Big Finish and only Big Finish, but in a, in a way that you haven't seen this villain before. And this villain is great. This villain is one of the absolute triumphs of a uh, 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 Big Finish. So Harry Sullivan is working with this villain who's pretending to be the Doctor to get to this like temporal energy thing they need for some nef uh, nefarious plan. But this temporal energy thing also can uh, cause de uh, de degeneration. And again, it all comes together in a 60 minute frothy mess of absolute fun stuff. Right. And you do uh, end up like visiting 1963 and the, um, William, uh, William Hartwell's TARDIS, not, not, not with him in it, but uh it's an anniversary special, right? It's an anniversary special, and uh, everything works. And okay, Colin Baker's Doctor with Jackie Tyler and Lee Christina, uh, very, very, very good, right? It really works very, very well. Uh, so this one is is a recommend. Let's look at the um, uh, the blurb here. I'll get was it? I'll get get the trailer as well because once. Yeah, one second, stop screen. What, when 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 I, when when you talk through the, through the trailer, I'll tell you. If it was good or not, right? I'll tell you if the trailer uh, rep, uh, rep, represents it. Here, let me grab that. Doink. Oh man, uh, I am sick. <laughs> it's like it's not good to have a cold if you if you're like if you're a podcaster, right? This is these are things that don't go well together. Doink. Oh, I got to do one more story at least. That's important. I want to say it's downloading. And uh, doink. I'll pull open that screen again. Yeah, and, and we'll uh, re read the book here. Let's pull up the uh, the video. Doink.
place is booby trapped. Excellent. I love it. Honestly, I mean, other than being in a rather shit for uh, TV story, Michelle Ryan is great. Right, she is. Uh, 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 she was back at the time. She is the right level of sexiness, and yet without. So she she's good eye candy with it, but she's a it's a good story, a good character with it uh, uh, that she's able to carry off. I would say very well. I, I I've enjoyed the Lady Christina box sets. The challenge. Oh, it's the TARDIS. But how can it be here? My rose is out there somewhere in that big blue box of yours. Oh, so that's it. So I think they're pro a plot thread and talk about. I, I, I think they do do it very well. That um, she talks about because uh, this is a the Jackie Tyler is from a future is in is, is from the Doctor's future because I'm like oh wait a minute Doctor's the eleventh Doctor now the tenth Doctor now the 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 tenth Doctor is the Doctor in in the next episodes which is so he's the future Doctor then. I think they're probably going to say something because they were with Jackie Tyler. That that's how um, she that that's how she became the uh, that's how he became the face. So they'll have some MacGuffin like that. Well, so how can it be in two places at once? Terrifying, wonderful, dangerous. I suppose I was lucky to come back. I have to tell you, Christopher Naylor's uh, uh, Harry Sullivan, pretty darn good, right? Pretty darn good. I, I don't notice him not being uh, uh, in, in Mark Nair. It's not like, you know, a perfect impersonation, but it's good enough to make me believe I'm listening to, to the character. Not everybody does. I mean, it's rather a coincidence that I happen to meet the two of you, precisely the people I need here with me now. Yeah, so I, I assume we're going to see River Song at some point in in this uh, in this series, setting up these characters to, to all meet. Big finish for the love of stories. Yeah, Nick, mate, you've got to stop using that. It's awful, right? That's absolutely awful. No, no, nobody likes hearing that. Let's see what the um, what it says. So he's flitting there, staffing the entire back on Earth. The Doctor uh, finds a clue in the search of uh, the orange of his degeneration weapon. In his sixth do uh, bo uh, body, he meets Jackie Tyler and Lady Christina D'Souza, and they come up with quite a good throwaway ex explanation why they they don't remember him in the future. Um, uh, 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 thrown together by fate, no, or something more, or something more, in the pursuit of an item of, of, of jewelry. So this is somewhat similar to the um, Peter Davison one, but I would say much better. Right? It's just much more more enjoyable. Meanwhile, a time lord renegade has duped Harry Solomon into helping him stop the Doctor's travels before they begin, uh, uh, and or all are on a collision course. Uh, yeah, listen, uh, uh, I can't believe that this cast is so small, right? Tim Trelaw's in it for like a few, uh, a minute or two as the, as, the, as the third Doctor. Michael Maloney as the renegade, and I'm not going to spoil who is, excellent, really excellent. Yes, the whole cast, the whole cast is uh, uh, good. So, yeah, this one's a recommend. This one is a recommend. I'll tell you what's not a recommend. <laughs> yeah. That I still haven't finished listening to it yet, right, is uh, this one. Oh, God. Oh. Where is it? Uh, um, yeah, I'm on uh, Angels and Demons. Uh, uh, so I'm still listening to Stone Cold. I'm about two episodes in, and I still haven't met, met, seen the Weeping Angels yet. Well, no, we season. Uh, it's just it's like wading through mud, right? It is like wading through mud. My name's Vila Beck in the Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!